Good afternoon. My name is Will Carwish. I'm Anderson's student body class president. Yeah, student body president. Um, thank you for joining us for the 93rd commencement exercise of Anderson High School. Um, I want to ask you all to rise um, and as we honor our great nation as senior Ellie Elmore sings our national anthem. Good evening, students, friends, family, and guests who came here tonight to celebrate the Anderson High School class of 2023. Congratulations, students. I am so proud of all of us for being here tonight to walk the stage. I want to start off by thanking my mom and my dad for just being the best parents I could have ever asked for, and also for being my own personal Uber driver for almost 17 years. I can't even begin to imagine the amount of money you guys have spent on gas for driving me everywhere. I also want to say thank you to Anderson High School staff for teaching me so much and for helping me get here tonight, and also say thank you to my friends for being there when I needed a shoulder to lean on. Getting here to graduation was no easy feat, especially when you consider the four years we've had as a class. Yet here we are as friends and as a community, which showcases the true perseverance that we embody. We carry around our own weight on our shoulders, which can feel heavier with each passing day. Yet we jump through the rings of fire that life throws at us. The Oxford Dictionary defines perseverance as persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Being here tonight is success in itself because if you consider all the challenges we as students face, walking across the stage tonight is our proof that we have an inner drive to achieve greatness. We have dealt with COVID-19, we have dealt with pressure to get good grades and pass AP tests, we have dealt with societal pressures to conform. We dealt with these problems and will continue to do so. Yet every single day, we step up to the plate and challenge life's dilemmas. When we think of the greats, we might think of extraordinary people who have achieved the impossible. But I challenge all of us to look at all that we have done and then tell ourselves that we are not one of the greats, because we are. One of my favorite quotes is, when life gives you dilemmas, make the lemonade. And despite all the issues that we, ha we face and have faced, we are meant to persevere through. If I had to leave you with one thing tonight, it would be this quote from Maya Angelou. You may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are, what you arise from, how you can still come out of it. The tribulations we faced in our past and will continue to face are necessary components of our lives because, because it is the struggles we jostle with that develop the amazing people we are and the great people we become. Thank you.
Good evening, friends, family, teachers, faculty, and most importantly, class of 2023. My name's Abby Wisman, and I'm so honored to be able to speak to all of you tonight. To my fellow graduates, we grew up. All we've ever wanted to do is grow up. We grew up sharing endless laughter and inside jokes within the walls of our classroom since 2010. We yearn to be older, taller, wiser, and stronger. Tall enough to ride the roller coasters and free to drive on our own with our windows down on warm summer nights. We wanted to grow up. We grew up anxiously waiting for the bell to ring at the beginning and end of each day. We grew up reading picture books, and as we grew up, we moved on to chapter books. Now here we are, closing one chapter of our lives and turning the page to a new one. We grew up learning and earning wisdom from the teacher teachers we've had over the past 13 years who ignited something within us to be our best selves. We grew up with the world at our fingertips, the internet shopping and shifting the very world as we touched it. We've seen abundant transformations through fashion and social media, not realizing we were transforming too. What we didn't realize was how fast we were growing up, and somehow the past 13 years have flown by. Years of waiting for this very moment turn into months. Months turn into weeks, weeks turn into days, days that have now come to an end. But the growing up we did was beautiful. We grew up dreaming about the day we get to go off on our next adventure, joking in about how we can wait until graduation, eager to explore the world. And here I stand before you today as we take our first steps down divergent paths. We grew up overcoming unforeseen difficulties. We went through all sorts of ups and, ups and downs throughout our formative years, from experiencing the unknowns of COVID, unspoken hardships, and even losing loved ones. I know everyone here has had their difficulties, but we still made it to this day. We grew up making cherished memories that will last a lifetime, laughing and staying up until the sun rose with our friends, countless nights cheering in the student section or even playing out on the field. And even though we grew up full of dreams and disappointments, difficulties and successes, tears and laughter, we know we still have growing to do, and we are grateful for all the moments that brought us here. Congratulations, class of 2023. We grew up.
I love you too. <laughs> Please pay attention to this important announcement. If you typically ride bus one, <laughs> if you know, you know. I did, I said it, they dared me. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Anderson High School's 93rd commencement exercise. For those of you that I have not had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Kyle Fender, and I have the best job in the world. I get to be the principal at Anderson High School, and it's the best job in the world because we have the most amazing students from the most incredible families with the most passionate staff. Before I get started, I'd like to send a few special thank yous to some special groups. Thank you to Mrs. Emily Standard and Mrs. Vicki Beltramo for their tireless efforts organizing this great ceremony. <laughs> Huge thank you to Ellie Elmore for her beautiful singing of the national anthem and a thank you to Mr. Haney and the Anderson Senior and Chamber Choir. Another big thank you to Mrs. Cox, Mr. Gall, Mr. Biederman, and the Anderson High School Symphony Orchestra and Wind Ensembles, and with a special thank you to Grady Bryant for that phenomenal senior solo. I'd like to give a preemptive thank you to Emma Mullis, who will lead us in the singing of the Anderson alma mater in just a short while, as well as a thank you to all of the students stepping to the podium today, Corinne Neighborhouse, Abby Wisman, Cassie Macheski, William Carwich, and Julia Ganim. I'd like to give special recognition to the man seated to my right, Mr. Dave Kammerer, who is here for his 20th and final commencement exercise at Anderson High School. Thank you, Mr. Kammerer, for everything you've done for this class and all of the others before them, and we all want to wish you a collective happy retirement. <laughs> and last, as I'm often heard saying, apples do not fall far from trees, I want to give a special thank you to the rec uh, and recognize all of you seated in the stands here tonight, the parents, the guardians, the grandparents, the family members, the family friends who helped all of our graduates make it to this part of their lives today. So graduates, please turn and give a round of applause to your families. Before I ag address the, gla the class of 2023, each year at this time, we like to draw attention to the fact that this is Memorial Day weekend, a time in which we are able to rest and reflect on the great liberties with which we have been blessed through the total sacrifice of our men and women in service. On this special day, I would ask that any graduates present, as well as anybody in attendance who is either actively serving or is a military veteran to please rise and be recognized. Thank you, and you may be seated. In honor of Memorial Day, I would like to take a brief moment of silence to honor those who have lost their lives in service to our country. Thank you. And now, the reason we are all here today Please join me in congratulating the Anderson High School graduating class of 2023. We're here today to celebrate you. We could not be more proud. And here are some of, a, a very, is a very small number of the long list of accolades that this class has accrued. 
First, I want to thank you for raising the bar of academic excellence at an already high achieving school with nine national merit, merit qualifiers, including four finalists. You helped our athletic teams reach numerous championships, not only this year, but in the previous three. And this year alone led us to some of our most successful season in some of the respective programs' histories. In the performing arts, you sold out Titus Auditorium many nights in a row at the Spring Musical. And you helped bring all of our visual and performing arts programs to new heights, including several selections and honors at the state level. And here's a statistic that truly speaks to the character of this class. They accumulated nearly 10,000 hours of community service during their time at Anderson High School. And I'm a little hesitant to share this next statistic because it isn't finalized yet. However, our early calculations have shown us that this class of 2023 will likely have the highest graduation rate in school history. <laughs> On a personal level, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. It has been a great honor and privilege for me to serve as your principal these past two years. We're all so incredibly proud of what you've accomplished over the last four years, and we look forward to what you're going to accomplish in the future. And so, graduates of the class of 2023, it's my sincere hope and challenge to you to continue being real, continue being kind, and continue striving to be better each and every day of your lives. After all, this is not your finish line. This is a milestone, and you are going to, on to accomplish many, many great things. At this time, it is my great honor and privilege to present the candidates for graduation from the Anderson High School class of 2023 to our superintendent, Mr. Larry Hook. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fender, and good evening. It is my great honor to have the opportunity to speak to you briefly as your superintendent. I wish to extend my sincere welcome and congratulations to all of the friends, families, staff members, community members, and guests. I particularly wish to congratulate all of the mothers and fathers watching today as your son or daughter receives their diploma and closes out the first of what will be many important chapters of their lives. To the class of 2023, and in the words of the great Captain Obvious, this has been a high school experience and senior year you will never forget. You have seen or experienced on a worldwide stage the worst of humanity. From the COVID pandemic, to the war in Ukraine, to Uvalde, Texas. And yet, here you are now, about to launch a new chapter in your life. As your superintendent, I can only tell you how proud I am of your resilience and all you've been able to accomplish during the most challenging four years likely in school history. As Mr. Fender said, you continue to raise the bar academically for the classes that will follow you. With four National Merit Scholarship finalists and five commended students, 32 Anderson students graduate cum laude, 17 magna cum laude, 16 summa cum laude. We have athletic teams, marching bands, winter guards, choral groups, cheerleading squads, and many others who have broken school records and won or placed at conference, regional, and state competitions. However, the accomplishment that caught my eye was that 319 graduating Anderson seniors from the class of 2023 have earned over $3.6 million in scholarship money that will be used to help 
develop your skills as the next generation of leaders in America. Congratulations. <laughs> to each of you, I would ask that you listen to me just for the next couple of minutes. You see, believe it or not, I was once your age. I have experienced what you've experienced, thought what you've thought. You haven't been my age and seen or experienced what I have. I can tell you for a fact that the world that you are about to enter is filled with mediocrity, but you have the God-given ability to be anything but mediocre. Excellence is not something you are or something you earn. Excellence is a choice that you make. So if you choose daily to do these three simple things, you will be well served. First, do what's right. Every one of you knows the difference between right and wrong. Choose right. Every one of you knows the difference between good and bad. Choose good. Every one of you knows the difference between class and classless. Choose class. I also realize that doing the right thing sometimes might, always, might not always be the most popular thing, especially with your friends. Do it anyway. Why? Because that's what leaders do. In the final analysis, when you look at yourself in the mirror tonight, who will you see staring back at you? Second, do your best. Your time on this earth is precious and valuable. Life expectancy for Americans is 76.4 years. Now I realize this may seem like a long time, especially at the ripe old age of 18. Believe me, it's a blink. It's a single moment of time. God has given you a finite number of heartbeats. And I say this with absolute conviction. Do not waste one moment of your time doing something that is not your best effort. Listen, events will happen to you that most of the time you have zero control over. How you respond to those events will equal the outcome that you deserve. So if you decide and you're going to college, then you be the best student that you can be. You go to class every day, you sit in the front row, even if it's not cool, take notes, do your homework. If you're going directly into the workforce, you be the best employee that you can be. You go to work every day, you be on time and give a full day's effort. If you're going into the military, you be the best soldier you can be. Listen intently to your trainers as it very well could save your life. In short, anything but your best is simply unacceptable. Every moment matters. Third, treat other people the way you want to be treated. You can call it karma. Some people say what goes around comes around. I believe that you reap what you sow. Does that include what you say or post about others on Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook? Twitter, you know, whatever social media is, comes out tomorrow. I grew up on a farm. If you wanted corn, you planted corn seeds. That's how it works. Respect and dignity for your fellow students, teachers, parents, and other human beings. It's just not old fashioned and it will never go out of style. Truly successful people 
are that way, not because they badmouth others on their way to the top. There's an old saying, if you burn your neighbor's house down, it doesn't make your house look better. Truly successful people got there by making good choices, choosing to do what's right, and by choosing to do their very best and realizing that they could have anything in this world if you're willing to help others get what they want. Your success, both now and tomorrow, lies directly within each one of you. It is your choice. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Good luck, God bless, and go Raptors. And now it is my distinct pleasure to present to the Board of Education the Anderson High School Class of 2023, who have completed all of the requirements for graduation by the State of Ohio and the Forest Hills Board of Education. Congratulations. Nicholas Christopher Lampkin, cum laude. William Walter Carwish. Nathan Stephen Kanar. Julia Nicole Gannon. Jonathan Paul Hurlburt. Abigail Alexis Marie Wispin. Reagan Joe Hunter. Corinne Alexandra Neighborhouse. Holden Scott Hermans. Tara Nicole Macheski, summa cum laude. Taryn Ashley Edwards. Cassie Margaret Macheski, magna cum laude. Cohen Thomas Bottle. Eleanor Roberta Elmore, cum laude. Joshua L. Adam Burning. Oh Emma Crisula Molas, cum laude. Georgia Spencer Arlinghouse. Grady James Bryant, magna cum laude. (Applause) 
Alyssa Jean Webb. Samantha Armstrong. Samantha Marie Thacker. Alice Patty. Sophia Reen Teague. Audrey Elizabeth Owens. Skylar Alexa Pritchett. Jordan Leanne Lytle. Elizabeth Grace Pope. Riley Ann Witchker. Alexis Marie Nash. Nathaniel Paul Fertelman. Maya Catherine Noss. Daniel Tayo Goldston Rumke. Logan Bernard Maloney. Madeline Lee Dearman. Devin Franklin Lands, magna cum laude. Zachary Allen Newland. <laughs> Anne Francis Steiner, cum laude. Peyton Nicole Santarelli. Lillian Joy Scavlum, magna cum laude. Brianne Nicole Anderson. Jacob Arthur Wiggins. Adrian Rose Kiros. Hayden Timothy Figgins. Jacob Philip Pelcha. Samantha Marie Zurgis. Samantha Evelyn McGurn. Henry William McGurn. Zoe Marie Hetzer. Cooper Stanley McGurn. Benjamin Scott Sachs. Emma Joanne Zygmunt, cum laude. Thomas Christian Hadley. Anne Ling Broxerman, magna cum laude. Terrell Isaiah 
jokes. Coleman James Miller. Reese Patrick Osterday. Logan Hunter Inman. Reagan Elizabeth Binder. Jackson Lynn Hatfield. Adam Faraj Salty. Trevor Michael Platten. Emerson Carr. Shelby Marie Humphrey. Haley Elizabeth Richardson. Sky Marie Bauer. Jonah Martin Mrochek Cum Laude. Chloe Rose Broerman. Barrett Marin McKee. Griffin Matthew Scaff. Ella Grace Gaynor. Jaden L. Morris. Bailey Sarah Ann Jodry. Cole Jensen Williams, magna cum laude. Ava Christine Shank, cum laude. Seth Howard Vincent Colby, cum laude. Adam Joseph Gould. Cassidy Marie Colby, cum laude. Giovanna Noel Navarro. Samuel Otto Pobans. Brian Stephen Cole. Kenneth Jacob Pobans. Bennett Charles Painter. Maxwell Christopher Hansen. Kayla Forte Caprikey. Rachel Elizabeth Turner. Anton Shane Reinert. Keith Klinholm. Brandon Thomas Pitts. Sophia Lee Mathis. 
Maxwell Andrew Glenn Walker. Christopher Joseph Hillis. Ashlyn Campbell Boyd. Cameron Charles Steele. Jacob Michael Weir. Madeline Anna Long. James Thomas Goronsky, cum laude. Charles Robert Thone. Grace Lynn Adams. Alexander Keith Cope. Emma Marie Socek Cum Laude. Cody Stanton Sprucker. Amanda Elizabeth Brannon Magna Cum Laude. Nathaniel Charles Summers. Tyler Jeffrey Simonton, magna cum laude. Natalie Elizabeth Annis. McLean Daniel Morenci. Lily K. Botker. Sitora Jemshadovna Kurekalova. Lucas Andrew Bierman. Natalie Souza Rausch. Kane Alberto Breen. John Constantine Miners. Skylar Beckman Rote. Claire Elaine Lehrman Cum Laude. Zachary Donald Zimmerman. Jennifer Marie Balili Hazlett, magna cum laude. Brogan Cole Rhodes. Cooper Joseph Meese. Dominic Evan Norris. Santos Roman Centino Reno Alvarez. Lorelai Abigail Knowles. Brooke Michelle Gumbert Cum Laude. Jessica Reese Buck. <laughs> Evan Michael Snyder, magna cum laude. Yes! 
Jada Lynn Bledsoe. William Homer Moore the third Abigail Elise Atwood Owen Patrick Fitzgerald Magdalena Charlene Goodman Evelyn Marie Fitzgerald, cum laude. Kendall Elizabeth Renner, magna cum laude. Ava Catherine Kaliznikov. Dylan Alexander Colson. Daniel Lawrence Hensler, summa cum laude. Noah Jackson Volk. Ella Grace Smalley, magna cum laude. Eleni Nicole Morozek, cum laude. Samantha Nicole Gantenberg. Cohen Alexander Morozek, cum laude. Carter Michael Willoughby. Zachary Taylor Meyer. Christina Salava Romp. Gus William Foley. Lillian Zella Camp. <laughs> Timothy William Daly. <laughs> Olivia Dawn Waters. <laughs> Jacob E. Dunahue. Zoe Abigail Augustine. <laughs> Owen Thomas Fetcher. <laughs> Hayden Christopher Womack. Carson Walker Bushman. Samuel Thomas Nolan. <laughs> Olivia Ann Lee. Lee Trout. Chase Aiden Walker. Zachary John Stevens, cum laude. Allison May Shelgren.
Caleb Thomas McOwen. Ava Carey Moran. Sydney Shomei Vandermeer, summa cum laude. Hannah Nicole Kilgore. Andrew Jason Vest, cum laude. Ilana Jordan Heft Early. Unique Nichelle Taylor. Hildy Marie Lanham, cum laude. Peyton Elizabeth Dickhouse. Avery Elizabeth Shields. Gabriella Lynn Dickhouse. Miles Jeffrey Weber. Connor Ian Cox. Sydney O'Donovan Earls. Karina Giselle Chinchilla. Catherine Yuchuan Dufresne. Catherine Ann Dorco. Maya Gabrielle Robertson. Caden Patrick Bardone, cum laude. Jaden Riley Wilson Barr. Tate William Brandon, cum laude. Rebecca Jane Massa. Lucas Andrew Eulenbrock, cum laude. Andrew James Beasley. Christopher David Burke, summa cum laude. Grace Fielding Miller, magna cum laude. Andrew Hunter Brown. Constance Bailey Autumn Puckett. Brooke Elizabeth Black. Janaya Nicole Gray. <laughs> Ethan Woodford Hensley.
Anna Renee Stan Summa Cum Laude. Luke Jeffrey Castle. Zachary Wiley Hartzog. Riley Elizabeth Glenn, summa cum laude. Robert Edward Reynolds. Chandler William Wesley Starks. Gunner Scott Stiles. Aaron Gray East. Ava Elizabeth Pfeffer. Dylan Michael Dostal. Jacob Edward Legg. Evan Eugene Flanagan. Reed Sachin Bate. Logan Alexander Mabius. Seth Alexander Miller. Douglas Ethan Matthews. Zoe Jane McFadden. Sean Christopher Tiesman, magna cum laude. Alexander Eric Robert McFadden. Audrey Jalen Sachs. Madeline May Crane. Aiden Daniel Cox. Elwin Emily Iredale, summa cum laude. Eliana Madeline Landers, cum laude. Isaiah Nicholas Coop Sadler. Benjamin Hanlon Zhao, summa cum laude. Benjamin James Horsley. Ava Elizabeth Blankenship, magna cum laude. Lillian Grace Houndshell. Emma Rose Stanger. Hannah Diane Croner. Christopher Ethan Simon. Emily Rose Dutschke. Sophia 
Ann Myers, cum laude. Aiden Parker Taylor. Aina Precious Price. Madison K. Belcour. Callie Nicole Wyatt. Joseph Smith Thuman. Kaylin Marie Cogliano. David Glenn Rammel Cum Laude. Nicholas John Engel Cum Laude. Matthew Alcott Gonzalez Cum Laude. Alexander Laszlo Maisie. Parker Jonah McDonald. John Noel Pencala. Tristan Edward Stanick Cum Laude. Jocelyn Aaron Corey. Francis Henry Loudon III. Anna Helen Gerstel. Morgan Elizabeth France. Joseph Randall Schultz. Peyton Rose Orm. Jace Michael Sandlin. Cassandra Grace Copeland. Haley Rose Martin, magna cum laude. Spencer Dean Irwin. <laughs> Sophia Elizabeth Grody. Ryan Grace Helton. Jonathan Keith Cruzy. Ive Marie Geringer, cum laude. Lillian Hayward. Kara Lorraine Beatty. Audrey Elizabeth Strait. Julia Crystal Payton. Rihanna Jeanette Molino. Riley John Miller. <laughs> A. 
Jaden Rose Layton. Jolie Inez Cronin Noonan. Ethan Andrew Goodsight. Callie Ann Slusher. Zoe Lena Becker, summa cum laude. Victoria Margaret Surges. Eric Lee Roberts. Simon Charles Pazzo, summa cum laude. Jack Dylan Campbell. Justin Patrick Dostal, summa cum laude. Cameron John Zimmerman. Andrea Jean Heizenga. Cohen Hunter Robertson. Samuel Kiyoshi Mizukawa, summa cum laude. Matthew Charles Hahn. Dylan Wyatt Cloud. Samuel Curtis Hughes. Madeline Sunshine Davis, cum laude. Bryn Jordan Walker. Alexis Lillian Vickers. Caleb Dylan Turr. Logan Michelle Vickers. Mallory Noel Selzer. Lauren Page Shepherd. Jarrett Michael Surface, summa cum laude. Katie Marie Camden. Lauren Ray Surface, summa cum laude. Julia Grace Browning, cum laude. Samantha Ellen Ellis. Sydney Jane Steinow. Megan Nicole Tiley. Chloe Renee Hornschmeyer. Cum laude. Joshua David Plank. Let's go. Let's go. 
Joel Heston Lushik. Miles Vincent Havens. Charlotte Suzanne Cox. Quinn Westfall Bracken. Alexander Jeffrey Rank, summa cum laude. Christian Miroslava Vasilev, summa cum laude. Adriel Orson Moore. My parents always told me that life is a blank canvas waiting for me to paint my future upon it. As I stand in front of not only them today, but my fellow classmates, family, and faculty, I see a group of artists anxious yet excited to share their paintings with the world. The prep we have done so far has gotten us to today, but the future that is to come is our new art canvas. So as your classmate Cassie Macheski, let's paint the world class of 2023. So, how did we get here? It began with sharing fake marriages on the playgrounds to trying to find the derivative tangent, but in the end, we did it. We learned to be older, wiser, and taller, and while only some of us actually achieved the goal of being taller, this is what eventually got us to this day. These wishes are about to set us on the future we are soon to embark on. The future allows us to not only create something beautiful, but something better and our goals and actions are gonna be the paint that fills this new canvas. The memories we leave behind, however, are not gone forever. They are finished pieces that hang in our memory, small sketches and drawings. All of the work that went into creating these other pieces will enable us with the techniques and the creativity needed to create this new masterpiece. When painting this new piece of work, let's be brave. Art is all about mistakes and embracing them. Bob Ross said, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Happy accidents can stay, or they can be revised. In the revision stage, we get to not only look at what went wrong, but analyze how to make it better. Either road taken, those happy accidents lead us down the right path. It is all about transition, taking something new and making it amazing, even if parts of the process went wrong. The process may look different from person to person, but in the end, we will create something beautiful. Let's not allow others to determine what to, we decide to paint. Let's paint what's in our hearts. Falling to others once is our downfall. Believe me, been there, done that. But how we come back from it is what makes our art original in the end. The colors each of us use on our path to success will be different. Whether your choice is the military, college, trade school, or another option, your choices will create something beautiful. If everyone took the same path and approach, our works of art would all look the same. Our different paths and our choices we make in terms of how we approach our blank canvases are what make our art piece original. Everyone's art piece has the potential to be beautiful in its own way. So define that beauty exactly how you want it to be defined. Finally, my last comment is that though that everything has an ending, it always opens a new door, a new beginning. Class of 2023, as we leave the small walls of Anderson and venture into the brave new world, know that this is just a new start. Life will take its new course again, finishing new ends and opening more beginnings. Taking the prep and applying the immense amount of work to the final painting. This painting may feel as if we are starting from nothing, but if we apply our work and curiosity to the painting, that nothing surely becomes something. Let's use everything that we have learned to create the lives that we want. 
to create the masterpiece that we envision. The world we are about to enter leaving these doors is our new app canvas. Class of 2023, congratulations, paint your future, and we will make the world a more beautiful place. Please rise and join us in the singing of our alma mater, which will be led by a senior choir member, Emma Mollis. The words up to the alma mater can be found on the back of your program. the moment you've been waiting for. At this time, I would ask all my classmates to remain standing. Mr. Fender, Mr. Hook, and Mrs. Hosfeld, I accept these diplomas on behalf of Anderson High School Class of 2023. Graduates, please turn your tassel to the left side of your cap. Thank you, congratulations. <laughs> 